Hey, brothers and sisters, today is August 4th, 2023. This is my little boy, Skylar. His very first word was Abba. He was diagnosed with leukodystrophy. Um, a little over almost five years ago. And it's like MS, but more progressive. He's 99% nonverbal. All he basically says is no, and I need. Everything else that this child has ever said is usually prophetic and in different languages. So what the enemy meant for evil, God has turned it around for good, for his purposes, and for his glory. The hand of the Lord is so upon this child, it just... It amazes me still, and this has been happening since he's been born. He shall cover thee with his feathers. shared this many times in the past. This is when we were still in Florida. We were playing outside with some mud in the water hose. My son had a handful of mud and threw it at the window in the window screen and it formed this perfect tree. Which I believe is the fig tree generation. The tree of life, Jesus. This is an almond tree next to Skylar's tree. Jeremiah 1, 11 through 13. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Jeremiah, what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. saying Enoch I need Enoch (sighs) 
So I wanted to share an audio recording of I did I did of him a few just a few days ago. My son has been saying Kiri come since I think he was two years old. And he also has said Aya for years before I, I realized what he was saying. And Kiri in Greek means Lord. And Aya is Hebrew and it means I am. And I did a video years ago of him playing with chalk and, and horses in the garage and the Holy Spirit just led me to record him. And all these little white balls of light go by my little boy. And then he looks up really, really high, like he sees someone really tall in front of him and he looks like he's just in amazement. And you can hear a voice at 14 seconds whisper, Aya, the same word he had been saying for months before that even happened. I've also shared videos in the past, not too long ago. Um, my little boy, he, he just like gets in the zone where he's just <coughs> at one with the Lord and, he, and he's talking to the Lord and the Lord, I know the Lord's talking to him. And often my son will repeat things that the Lord tells him. And the first, the first time the Lord in the video said, Aya, I am. Shortly after that, my son said, he come. The second time it happened, I was recording my little boy. And you can hear a voice whisper, not too long. Then it happened again. And a voice whispers, look up. And then my son repeated, look up. And he's never said that in his life. He's also said in the past, over and over and over again, marry you, Ina, marry you, Ina. So I look it up and it's Latin and it means lamb. Marry you, lamb. So in this clip, I'm going to share... Um, as I mentioned, Kiri means Lord in Greek. And what he's going to say in this is he's basically, I'm just going to, I've gone over it and written down what he's saying. So I could tell you before you hear it. And he's saying, Kiri, we dup, D-U-P. And he's been saying that for a while too. So I looked up the word dup. And it means to open. A door gate. So he says, Kiri, we dup. Kiri, we dom. D O M. We dom is basically the English pronoun we and the Latin word domus, home. We home. So he's saying, Kiri, we dup. Kiri, we dum. Like he's telling the Lord, Lord, open the door. We want to be, we want to be home. We want to come home. We're ready. She so says, Kiri, we dup. Kiri, we dum. Ready. I need. We dum. Kiri, we dum. We dup. And then he says, Ninga, N-I-N-G-A, Ninga need. He's been saying that for years too. So it could either be Japanese, but it can also be Ojibwa. In Ojibwa, it means my mother. In Japanese, refers to something that is graceful, refined, and tasteful. 
refers to something that is correct, good, and well-ordered, refers to something that is unchanging and lasting, refers to something that is original and from the beginning. Ninga also means compassion, affection, humanity, an individual human being, and the seed of a fruit. So then he says, Ninga need, wide up, we done, D-O-N-E, Ninga need, we know, Ninga need, we dom, need, we dom, we dom, we dom, I know, we dup, Ninga need, we dup, Ninga need, and then he says, run awake, R-U-N, Run awake. And then he says, we wake. Run awake, we dumb. Run awake, we dumb. Run awake, run awake, we do. Run awake, we dup, we know. Run awake, we dumb, we know. So basically, the Lord is talking to him. And he's answering the Lord. They're having this conversation. And he's basically saying, Lord, open the door. We want to come home. We're ready. We need to come home, Lord. Lord, open the door. We need to be where these all, all of these characteristics are. Which basically describes the love of God. And then he says, we done. He just, he's just talking to the Lord, saying, Lord, we're ready. We're awake. We want to be home. We want to come home. Open the door, Lord. And then it's like the Lord says stuff to him. And then he'll say, we know. We know. So I'm going to play the clip. You can hear him whispering under his breath. He's been saying this a lot. He keeps saying, want to be, want to be, want to be.
This is the part coming up where he says, run awake, we wake. to be under his breath. Jesus is about to come for those that have put their full trust and faith in what Jesus did for us on the cross. We're awake. We know. He's coming, you guys sooner than you think. Our blessed hope. He did it all for the glory of love. All you have to do is put your trust and faith in him alone for your salvation. Love you guys. Have fast.